The word Christian, when applied to anything other than a human being, is a marketing term. That's just a fact. There is no such thing as Christian music. There's no such thing as Christian entertainment, Christian radio. There's no such thing as Christian retail stores. There's no such thing as Christian festivals, Christian education. There's no such thing as Christian goods and Christian services. There just isn't. It just, uh, it's not logical. It's not possible, even. Only human beings can be Christian. And even more than that, the word Christian is almost never self-applied. It's always the result of a public verdict. So a group of people will see another group of people and say, hey, they're acting like Jesus. They must be Christians. Those must be the Christians. Those people almost never would say, look at us, we're the Christians, check out what we're doing. We should hope that the word Christian, even when applied to human beings, is more of a public verdict than a self-applied term. Especially when 10 people have 10 different definitions for the word Christian. The Barna Research Group a few years ago did this poll where they asked adolescent non-believers, when you hear the word Christian, what's the first thing you think of? 93% of those people said, when I hear the word Christian, the first thing I think of is somebody who hates gay people. If someone says, are you a Christian? Ask a follow-up question. That's what Jesus would have done. Ask a follow-up question. Because you don't know what in the world they mean by the word Christian. There's nothing special or sacred about that term. There never has been. About our Savior? Absolutely. But about that word in, in the English language? No. That word is complicated and it's got connotation connected to it. And it's mostly bad. We all know that. So when somebody asks you, ask a follow-up. Well, what do you mean by that? What do you mean, are you asking how I vote? Are you asking what side of town I live on? Are you asking who I love, who I hate? Are you asking how I was raised? Are you asking what, what part of the country I'm from? Are you asking what my response is to the historical person of Jesus Christ? Like, what is your real question? Because that I'd love to talk to you about, but I'm not, if you ask me if I'm a Christian, I'm not gonna answer that question. I don't have a clue what you mean by that. And you probably don't mean the same thing I mean, so why would I answer that? It's terrible communication on my part. Let's not be satisfied with such simple categories. I think we'll find that we don't even have to almost do anything to reorient ourselves. Everything just reorients around us. Because suddenly there isn't all this Christian culture to consume and Christian goods and services. All that's a fiction. So now we just have to look at all of it and discern it and figure out, well, what if it's good? What if it's bad? What if it is beneficial, helpful for me, spiritually, otherwise? What if it's not? It doesn't matter if it says Christian or not because that's a marketing term. I'm not going to buy into that. Just because somebody stamps Christian on it and puts it out through that distribution channel doesn't mean it's safe, right, true, good, and beautiful for me. And just because it doesn't possess that stamp and that marketing term doesn't mean it's not all those things, that it can't be good for me and beneficial spiritually for me. So it just blows all that out of the water and you have to look at the world again. And that might be a, qu a really good shortcut to just getting us to re-examine the world that we're all in. Because I think too often we just put all this faith and security in these terms and they don't mean anything.